topic is a very important topic for me. It's a very important subject. It's very close to my heart. So that's why I really wanted to do this vlog. I've been wanting to do it for a while. surprise again I have two more subscribers that is awesome thank you so much for your support guys that has made my day extra special so thank you so much again I'm now up to 50 subscribers I know that's probably not huge for a lot of YouTube people but for me that's awesome so thank you so much for following guys I want to do a bit of a vlog um, about our Christmas um, and our plans for Christmas this year um, and that includes a vegan Christmas. Um, I am expecting that maybe it's probably going to deter some people from wanting to watch the vlog or people may unsubscribe. Um, it isn't um, a vlog about what's, you know, how things are and, you know, reality and stuff like that, but it's more of a, you know, my views and celebrating um, Christmas and you know, our plans and stuff like that. I'm trying to keep it a little bit more cheerful. Like, um, So obviously this topic is a very important topic for me. It's a very important subject. It's very close to my heart. So that's why I really wanted to do this vlog. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I was going to do one, not for a vlog, uh, like a Christmas theme, but I was going to do it just a normal vlog. But I'm just going to make it a Christmassy type vlog, um, but throw in that... Um, we're having a vegan Christmas. So it's um, really important to me. That's why I'm doing it, basically. I don't want to upset anyone. I want to keep it fun and light as, as possible. Um, talk to you a little bit about um, my views and stuff like that, um, but as positive as I possibly can go with this. So uh, yeah, here we go. I have my peace, love, Forever! T-shirt on. <laughs> I thought it'd be appropriate for the vlog today, so I decided to wear it. I've had this t-shirt since high school. That's how much I love this t-shirt. It's so cool. It did have an insert, but that's gone now because it's old as, but it's just so appropriate. For Christmas, um, uh, for when we have like a meal and stuff, we are actually not cooking. <laughs> um, I am not a big cook. I don't like to cook. Um, it's not one of my favorite things. So last year we did this too, but this year again, we are actually going to order from um, a vegan bakery. Oh my God, they're amazing. Alex's favorite bakery. Um, they are amazing. I'm not trying to advertise or anything, but yeah, they are amazing. Um, <laughs> that's, um, I don't know if you see it. Yeah, so I've actually got an order form right here. Um, last year we got a, um, a Sweeties box and a Savory box. So basically you get your vegan roast and veggies. We had so much food last year. Um, I only served like half of it, three quarters of it. Um, last year, I'll oh, put inside a picture for you. That was the picture of last year. That wasn't even like all of it. It was crazy. So, and it was so good. Um, so yeah, we have our order form here. Um, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna get what we got last year, but less because it's only um, me, Alex and Olive. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm just like, oh, just, it all looks so good. Like, oh my God. And the food tastes so much better than like, you know, normal food. Like it's just like, Oh, it's so good. I highly recommend. Um, I don't mean to advertise, but I just think, why not? You know, like vegans don't get a lot of selection most of the time, so why not? So we are ordering from... So right at the moment, I am... I like Govita. It's a health shop in, I don't know, South Australia, but I don't know if they're anywhere else. But um, I actually found that they have a Christmas... Uh, thing out and it's raspberry chocolate mousse 
I'm thinking maybe I might make that um, for like a Christmas, like going out, taking something. Because obviously you have to take food with you to function, like do family do's and stuff like that because you can't eat otherwise. Um, yeah, I thought that might be a nice sweet. I don't know. Hmm. I might try it. It looks really simple. All it is is coconut milk or almond milk, um, a block of uh, raspberry uh, chocolate, and that's pretty much... Oh, and a sweetener of your choice, so, you know, maple syrup or something. Um, that's it. <laughs> Stick it in the fridge. <laughs> Talk to you about what's happened. Like, yeah, like our lifestyle, big lifestyle changes. Um, just so you have an idea. So... Going back six years ago, I went vegetarian. Um, I pretty much found, I think how most people find that they go veggie or whatever, um, a lot of Facebook videos of um, farm, factory farming, that type of thing, what goes on, it just oh, horrified me. It horrified me. Um, and I just watched a few. I think it took me a couple days and I just like, can't do this. I just can't, can't do this. So. Um, yeah, just stopped eating meat. Uh, never looked back. Um, did a lot of research, that sort of thing, in like what foods to eat. It's so, so simple. You just cut meat out. Um, but they do trick you with, you know, there's some things in things you wouldn't think had meat in it and stuff like that. So it's just all learning. But um, it was very simple. Never looked back. That was six years ago. So gradually, recently, since I think since having Olive, um, I think I've researched more into full cruelty free lifestyle. Um, I've always tried to go the cruelty free life, like choices and foods and stuff. But late, since having Olive, I got more into it, like much more into it. So in doing that, um, recently, um, Alex still ate meat. Like he, he did have a vegetarian break and he lost so much weight. He looked fantastic. Um, I mean, he still looks fantastic, but yeah, he was doing really well, but then he went back and recently he started to feel, every time he ate me, he said he just felt really yucky and didn't feel good. So he cut out, he stopped, he's gone vegetarian now. So, um, I'm hopefully he moves to vegan and he stays like that and stuff, but, um, you know, that's his choice. I didn't tell him to do that. He decided to do that. So he went vegetarian right now for his health. Um, and I'm happy about that. So, um, but I will never push him. It's his choice. He has to want to do it. Uh, in that saying that, um, pretty much when he went veggie, I just got onto some YouTubers, um, vegan activists, I'd say, and watched some of their stuff and, I think it was the same diff as when I went vegetarian. It was like, I can't do this. Because I didn't really research too much into the dairy industry when I went vegetarian. Um, so it was just more meat. I was just like, oh, that's, yeah. And then now it's like, oh, my God. that's The dairy industry is worse than the meat industry. What the f It's, yeah, so that traumatized me. Uh, as a mum who breastfeeds. Ah, oh, watching it was horrible. Hearing that mum cry, oh, that was hard. Animals have feelings too, you know, they feel, they hurt, they happy, you know, like these, yeah. So, um... That's, yeah, so I will recommend, well, I will tell you uh, who I actually started watching recently. Um, that kind of turned me. Um, he's a very real dude, um, very real. I think that's why it hit me hard. Um, his name is Joey Carpstrong. I will try and link his one of his um, vlogs on here um, for you if you want to check it out. I do recommend checking it out. Um, definitely, he, I'll probably link his vegan festival um, that I went to. He went to as well, and I th it was quite a light, um, a light vlog. So I'll put, I'll probably link that up here. So yeah, that his vlogs pretty much turned me. So 
I have decided to go vegan and try and live the full cruelty free lifestyle as best that I possibly can. Um, that's all us vegans do is we do the best we possibly can. Um, you know, sometimes there's mistakes, um, not intentional, but you know, we do the best that we possibly can and that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, now for me, I'm going vegan for the animals. Hey, oh my goodness. <laughs> Joey, make some moose for us. Some moose? Yeah. You see so much advertisement for meat and dairy. Um, it's very over, can be very overwhelming at Christmas time. Um, you know, you see, I'm on a Christmas mum's group and it's lovely, it's, it's a wonderful group. Um, but, you know, when they ask, what are you having for dinner? I think 99% of those people are having meat. And that's not just like one meat, it's like multiple <laughs> meats. Um, and it's just hard to see. I mean, I'm, I would love to be an activist. I ha Hats off to activists, vegan activists. Um, I just don't have, yeah, I just hear it and just go, oh my God. What I think is good is just trying to show people I'm happy and healthy and I want to choose cruelty free. Um, that's how I'm going to try and prove that it's a great lifestyle to be on. Um, but yeah, hats off to uh, vegan activists, guys. Getting on the subject of social Christmas uh, aspect with family and friends. To me, Christmas is about family um, and friends and appreciating them and we give gifts for them because we love them and spending time with them. I just, Christmas, oh my goodness, Christmas is about family and friends for me. Um, and I love my family and friends. Um, they mean the world. Um, but obviously, there's, this is a hard time to socialise um, because obviously there's lots of food and drinks and stuff like that. Um, and I've been brought up in a meat-eating family, so has Alex. So it's just hard, especially vegan, not so much vego, but vegan. It's, it's going to be really hard. So I just think I need to prepare myself, take some food with me, and I'll be fine. Um, show everyone that vegan food tastes really good and looks really good and it's it's awesome food. Vegan food's awesome. And it tastes amazing. All well, those vegan food tastes amazing. Um, so yeah, I think it's just preparing yourself, um, obviously, before you go. Um, you are going to see a lot of meat. It's going to be hard. Um, people are going to make fun of you. People are going to go, vegan, whatever. Um... I'm not going to do that, but you know, you just be happy. You are not contributing to that. That's, that's the only thing you can look at. You are not part of it. You're not going to be part of it. So guys, I want to ask you a favor this Christmas. Um, I want you to think about the animals this year. Um, and think about maybe not eating meat and dairy. <laughs> Which would be good, but just at least open your mind a little bit. Um, you know, have a bit of empathy. Uh, just cut back on the meat consumption. You know, I don't know. It's, it's hard at Christmas time, I know, but just think about it. You know, open your mind a little bit and just yeah, think about those poor animals. You know, because it's it is horrible and it's all for human consumption. So guys, I'm going to end the vlog. Um, I'm sorry, it's a fair bit of me talking. I hope I didn't bore anyone. But it's a quite an important vlog for me to put up. It's our lifestyle, so it's a very important vlog for us to have up. Um, it's probably not going to interest everybody, um, but, you know, I had to put it up. It's my life, um, and it's our, it's our life, so um, it had to go up. So, vegan Christmas. Uh, so, yes, please, guys, um, if you haven't, please subscribe. Um, I'm not really expecting a lot of likes and subscribes on this video because it's a bit contra It's not controversial. Veganism should be completely normal, but it's not, unfortunately. So it can be a bit sensitive subject. I don't know why, but it is. Um, so, yes, 
But any support, guys, that'd be awesome. Vegans out there, please subscribe. <laughs> I've got some um, vegan recipes and stuff I want to make for Christmas. I'm a shit cook. I apologize, but I will do my best. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, please like uh, if you like the vlog. And uh, comment if you, you know, want to comment. Um, I hope I don't get too many negative ones. I hope it's all positive. But, um, yeah, so we will end with some beautiful pictures of free animals living their lives happily. Um, not in None of these pictures are in the dairy or meat industry. It's just free animals. Um, so check that out. They're so cute. Um, and also, um, I, I've got some pictures of um, a very important sanctuary here in uh, South Australia as well. I'll put a picture of that up as well. Um, thank you. Um, as from shouting out, I'm probably just talking to myself, but thank you to the um, sanctuary, animal sanctuaries, for looking after these some of these animals. It's amazing what you do. Thank you for the vegan activists. You guys are awesome, and I'm hats off to you guys. It's amazing what you do. Um, you really get in there. Um, so yeah, so anyway guys, we're going to have an awesome vegan Christmas for the animals. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Yay.